Hey there, strangers! My name's Neos, also known as the guy who plays way too much Cortex Command, and welcome to a very special episode of Cortex Command! For you see, Cortex Command has just finally had another official update, after exactly one forever ago. Actually, it was about a year ago that we got Build 30, which is actually kind of a big deal for me, because Build 30 was what got me to finally actually making these videos in Cortex Command. And if you watch my channel, you kind of know where that's led to. And this is Build 31, which I've been messing around with quite a bit since it came out a, uh, a few days ago. And there's actually been a surprising number of people asking me to do uh, some coverage on this new build, which, I mean, it is kind of a big deal for the Cortex Command community, I suppose, since we get so few of these updates. So, hey, why not? Seems like it could be kind of fun. But as a quick disclaimer, uh, before we get started, uh, this episode will be a little bit more educational than most of my normal videos, but I still think it'll be fun either way. So, if you've played a lot of Cortex Command or you've just watched a lot of my videos, you probably have already noticed the first major change that has been added to this game, because it's right here on the title screen. This is the Mod Manager. And it might possibly be the biggest change to this latest update, and I absolutely love it. This basically, uh, ignore this side for the moment, but these mods right here, this basically will allow you to uh, activate and deactivate all the mods that you currently have installed into your game on a whim, and it is absolutely glorious. I'm so glad they added this. Up until this point, well, since build 30, since they added the Steam Workshop, if you wanted to add or remove any mods, you had to subscribe or unsubscribe from them to make them appear in your game or to go away. Now, you can simply select one of these and disable it or re-enable it with a double click or something. It's a little bit buggy where sometimes you'll just click it once. It's not doing it right now, but sometimes you'll click it once and like that one right there. And it'll just deactivate or reactivate before you click the enable or disable button and sometimes it doesn't work and it's a little bit flaky but I do not care I am really glad they added this it's so nice I love that so for instance if I were just tired of the Galactic Empire coming in and dropping all of their stupid Star Destroyers on me for just this one video but I don't want to uninstall the mod I can just do this and now there will be no more Galactic Empire when I'm playing this which is actually really really nice I love that they've added that and that is absolutely glorious and over on this side we have global scripts, which are honestly really kind of interesting. I'm really glad they added these. Uh, these are more or less, they're kind of like cheat codes and they can alter how the game just works in general. These could make for some really interesting scenarios and potentially some really cool videos in the future if I get uh, creative with these. We have things like enabling friendly fire. That would be a terrible idea. I love that. See, you can make units more fragile. You can make give death only, which means, like it says down here, there's no health bars. Nobody will bleed out. You can just shoot people and they will not die until they're completely destroyed. So you basically have like the Terminator or actual zombies, which would be really, really cool. Or huge jetpacks, which doubles your fuel capacity. Or headshot kills, like one-shot headshot kills. That, that could be, if you turn on one-shot headshot kills and uh, give death only, I'm kind of curious what that would do. I have no idea, that could be kind of cool. Uh, tough brains, tough craft, tough doors, and tough units. It's turning things on and off just when I'm clicking on, not wanting to activate any of these. It's kind of annoying that it does that, but ignore that. Uh, tough units and tough doors so people take more damage. That's, that is really cool, and I love that. That could make this really, really interesting, and I, I'm gonna have to play with that at some point in the future. I expect that, because I'm totally gonna do that. But there's also one other major change here on the menu area that I think is really really, really nice. And that right here is the show foreign items option. So, you know, whatever, say you do a, a campaign mode or something, you select a faction, but you can still buy stuff from any other faction you want. If you turn this off, now only your faction stuff will appear. So you can actually like legitimately play as the brown coats or as the dummies and you won't be able to buy anyone else's stuff it's basically just a, a self-limiting factor that you could add to the game which I personally think is really cool let's see what else do we have here I actually have a list over here on the side so I don't miss anything major because I want to show off some of these things so I think they're kind of cool uh, here's something that seems really really interesting but I have no idea how it works I've actually not figured it out just yet but apparently there are now 36 randomized maps for the campaign, so they've added new maps for the campaign. I don't know what it means by randomized, because there's not 36 maps here, so I don't know if they've, if there's new maps, or if it will just pick ones at random, or if it just 
alter certain things to the maps or what, I really don't know. Uh, but it seems like it could be kind of cool either way. And there's actually apparently now a quote unquote secret endless campaign mode. I have no idea what that means, and I have no idea how to get to it because it is a secret, apparently. Uh, but the fact that there is possibly a different kind of campaign mode that you can play now is really intriguing to me, and I'm gonna have to figure out how to do that. But I think that's enough of these boring up top menu features. I think it's time we actually get into a battle so I can show off some of the new cool features they've added, like this right here. This is amazing. There's a map now. There's actually a map. So if you don't remember what the level is you're about to go into, you can see it beforehand. And that is so awesome. I love that. That's a nice feature right there, which is really, really nice. But I believe there's a very specific uh, mode I'm going to do. Here we go. Wave defense, which will show off some of the cool other new things that they've added to this that I'm really, really excited about. So let's see. Let's just go with the, uh, the Brachy Desert, which looks like that if you didn't know. That's actually really cool. I like that. So they've added one other thing to this that I'm not entirely sure how it works. So as you've known before, you can change the difficulty of the game right here, all the way from cake to nuts difficulty. Uh, but we're going to ignore that for right now, because now when you start a game, you can actually change the level of the AI. Not only the enemy AI, but your AI. So I can make my AI a bunch of idiots, or I can make them super good and up to the unfair level. I'm actually kind of curious what that would do. I don't know what unfair AI is like, but the fact you can actually change these back and forth is really, really cool. And then you can change them individually. I love that. That is really neat. So I'm going to be playing as the dummy army because apparently the dummies have actually gotten an official new weapon that I have not had a chance to play with just yet. And I've actually kind of curious to see what that is. Let's see, and we're gonna set the enemy AI to all. Yeah, we're just gonna leave it on all. That's a terrible idea. But we're gonna set them to all. We're gonna give them all the money in the universe! Infinite money! Which is really cool. We also have a new function down here. We have deploy units, which I honestly don't know what does. Uh, but there you go. There's a new button right there. But either way, onwards to battle so I can show off all the other new features they've added. All right, and here we go. So, the reason I actually picked wave defense specifically is because for wave defense, you actually have the chance to build your own base uh, before you start actually defending. And the reason that is interesting is because they have added, it says right here, almost 200 new bunker prefabs it's for you to use, so you can actually build your bases way easier than you could before. I mean, look at these! Oh, oh these are so cool. They've actually broken it into uh, three different segments here. So we've got passageways, as it says, prefabs, and rooms. I mean, look at these rooms! Oh, it's so they're all about the same shape and size, which is nice. Oh, look at that! That, that is so nice! So I can actually build a half... Not crap base, just like slapping that down. Let's see what else we got here. We got this thing over here, so I can slap this on here. So it actually has a door already attached. Oh, that is cool. I love that. Let's see what other kind of stuff we have here. So you got rooms. This one's full of gold. I don't even know why that one's full of gold, but it's full of gold. What stuff we got here? It's got a thing in there. It's a tunnel. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, that's got like, do oh, there was, what was all right before that? Oh, there we go. And we actually have one that actually has multiple doors. So if someone wants to get down in here, they actually have to go through multiple of those. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, I like that. So what else you got? You got these are the, oh, that's got got stairs. Oh, oh, not that one. Not the, uh, where we go. There we go. That's actually got stairs built in. Oh, that is so cool. I, mean, I like that. I really do. So that is really neat that they've added in all this cool stuff and different kinds of stuff. You got rooms, you got passageways, you've got uh, some of this stuff looks like it'd be a place for you to like take off a rocket from. Oh, I, I really do. That's really cool. I like that. So earlier you saw that I selected the option to only show your own current tech. So now you see if I go into any of this stuff, it'll only show the, the generic stuff that everyone has and and then the dummy tech, because I've selected dummies, so you can only use one tech. Which, admittedly, is very limiting, but at the same time, that is really cool. I like that they've added that. That is really neat. Also, we need to try out the new... I don't know why I has a soldier there. Oh, no! Oh, run away, brain! What are you doing? Oh, no! Oh, right! They're attacking! That's the thing they do. Away you go! All right, now that we're only kind of, sort of, maybe half safe here. Oh, no! Oh, that was a bad choice. Anyway, now that we've done that, we have to try out what these new dummies. I want to see what the new dummy weapon is. So what is the new weapon? It was called a... What is this? It was like a Lancer. Lancer! There we go. Was it dummies, energy weapons, low cost rifle? Oh, it's a rifle! Okay, that's kind of cool. Let's go ahead and bring in our rifle. Let's go with this one right here. Just a really crappy little uh, rocket. We're gonna drop in right on top of that guy. Why would you set it on all? That is the stupidest thing you could have done. And of course I did it. Why wouldn't I have done that? Anyway, let's see. Get you out of there. There we go. Now, uh, rockets! Rocket go that way! Crush your rocket! There you go! Woo! <laughs> Whoa! Okay, um, 
Like I said, this episode is a little bit more educational, but there are still plenty of stupid explosions that I did not intend to make. So anyway, let's bring in this other one, and we'll try out this Lancer, and uh, see exactly what it does. Okay, so come on, come on out of here. Here you go, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, oh, also, well, first let's see what this does. It's a Lancer that goes, but you, ooh. Oh, it's a big laser ball. That's kind of cool. I like it. So uh, one of the other awesome features that I love for this is say I were to open my inventory and I forgot what kind of guns I have. Oh, look there at the top. It actually shows your weapons, which that's amazing. If you have multiple weapons, it'll actually show you all of the weapons up there uh, that your, your character is currently holding. And I absolutely love that. And on top of that, the jetpacks have been reworked. The jetpacks seem to work so much better uh, because I, I, it says something about how they have been changed. I don't remember what it was, but they now seem to just lift and work so much better. And your character just seems to be able to move around better. I don't know if that's just in my mind, but it kind of feels like the characters don't get stuck quite as much, which is really, really nice. That brain is really far down there. That's not even a brain. It's just a dude. It's kind of cool. Um, also... Something goes, oh, we're just supposed to kill everybody, that's what it is. Apparently, the diggers have also been reworked. Oh, that guy is done. Oh, you don't have a digger on you? Oh, you're supposed to have a digger. Oh, let's get a digger real quick. Let's go ahead and bring down a digger. Actually, let's get a dummy and give them a bunch of guns, just so I can show you that they can do different stuff. Do all that, let's go ahead and get ourselves a, where's the tools? Tools, get ourselves a medium digger. All right, so bring this guy down here real quick. There we go. So now, if I bring up his menu, you can actually see all the weapons he has. You can scroll through them, and you can actually see, like, what's next and what was last. That is so cool. I love that. That. Let's go ahead and get our digger because the digger itself has apparently also been changed I haven't actually got a chance to try this just yet, but supposedly it makes it so that it actually digs tunnels that are easier to navigate I don't know what that means. We're about to find out. Come on digger. Dig me a hole. Here we go Is that a uh, that look too much different? Oh, maybe oh that, that might work Maybe what it does is it doesn't leave, oh yeah, it doesn't leave chunks anymore. Like normally, or it used to be when you were digging through stuff, there would just be these chunks. They were just kind of floating in the air and you could not get around unless you hit every single little bit. So maybe that's what they changed because I'm actually going through here pretty quickly. Oh, that's kind of nice. I like that. That's pretty cool. Oh, you killed me. Good for you. I was not paying attention. But that's fine. It gives me a chance to try out some more stuff. So I think I'm actually going to switch me. I'm going to switch me for all. I'm going to set you guys... Uh, it's a coalition. You just give me a coalition. Yeah, that's fine. We're gonna set you to inferior so I can actually keep showing off stuff. And my guy's too unfair, actually, by the end of this video. I might try showing off the enemy as unfair. I'm kind of curious what that does. But for now, let's go in and try out some more stuff. Ooh, those are big doors. I want those. Just gonna put some big doors here so I can hide my prey behind them. That seems like a good idea. Oh, what is this? Look at all these doors. Oh, that's just unfair, but it'll give me time to talk this time. I like it. Ooh, what is this? A brain hideout. Oh, that sounds kind of cool. I'm gonna use that. That seems perfect. Put our brain right there. There you go, brain. Oh, it's got doors on either side. Oh, that is cool. I like that. And just for the sake of making sure I don't die, uh, we're gonna put a couple of Darth Balls here, just so they can't get in there and kill my brain right away. Okay, so now that he's relatively well protected, uh, let's go ahead and bring in some other guys and see what I can do with this. Oh, that's right! Oh, there's actually a new tool that I completely forgot to show off. That is a big new addition to this. I have to use this. This is something I gotta show off. Go, Darth Maul, go! No! No! Marl, don't you dare tie on me, Maul! Don't you even think about it! Oh, no! That is a lot of No! Kill them! Kill us, you guys! I'm, I'm trying to show off things. I'm stuck on Darth Maul's dead body. Could you stop? Get him, get him, get him, get him! They're throwing so many grenades! Oh, no! Oh, this is bad! Oh, this is bad! By the way, they've also updated in such a way and it seems like it's also- Oh no! It's able to handle more units. Uh, it says that they've apparently upgraded uh, the object count. Uh, so, um, good for me. All right, let's try this again. Uh, this time I've just set for a brain versus brain match. So everything's already pre-set up and I can't completely break everything because I'm a moron. Wow, these guys are set to inferior AI. And they're kicking my guy's butts. What is- why do you have so many- oh, right, I said you for infinite money. That's not the point. You guys are not supposed to be doing this well. Actually, you know what? This will let me show off uh, this feature really well if you actually- oh, you don't actually have the constructor. Ah! Okay, this guy. This guy actually has the constructor, which is the new tool that has been added in this latest update, which is really kind of interesting. It seems like the enemy AI, whenever they spawn, have this, which might potentially be really annoying in the future, but it's kind of interesting. So. What you can do, let's see right here, order construction. I can go to order construction, and now I can say, do this. And like, just build myself a hut. 
So I want to do this and build myself a little hut right here. And now, if I actually go to my guy and actually start using... No, not doing that. There we go. I actually use this guy to absorb matter. It will now use any matter I pick up to build things. That is awesome. And really, that, that is so interesting. So now, uh, it kind of seems whenever the AI uh, brain comes up, I'm actually kind of curious if the AI brain's done that. Could you just do that on your own? Uh, let's see. Just go to... Digging mode! Just get dig. Maybe they'll do that. I don't know. So where's the enemy AI brain? You're around here anyone? Oh, you've probably got a base. Oh, okay. So whenever you have the AI brain actually coming in to assault you, there it goes! Um, they tend to do this. They seem to just dig straight down and block off the entrance of where they dug down so that you can't get to them quite as easily. I mean, this stuff can be broken uh, relatively easily. It's not super duper effective, but it's, it's, it's just kind of neat. You can just build uh, stuff on the fly which, that can be really strategic, I like that. Hello! I'm gonna bi build! Build faster! Come on, construct, construct, construct! Uh, I'm, I'm kinda curious now, we're gonna see if I can construct this before they kill me! No! No I cannot! Uh, dig a hole! Dig a what happens if you construct on top of someone? I don't know. But you're not gonna find out- YES! Oh, they killed themselves, that is awesome! Come on, go! Go, construct! Uh, construct faster! And there we go! I have now trapped myself in here with this guy. Can I construct out of you? Come on, take him! Take him! Build a wall out of that guy! Not working! I was really hoping that would work. I don't have any guns at all, but let's see if I can do this. Uh, construct there. Yeah, construct- construct on the guy's face! Oh no! Oh, that almost worked! Actually, I'm curious now. I'm gonna try something. Okay, what if I were to, say, order a construction over here, say, on top of the enemy brain? Like, right about here. Oh no, it's all red! Oh, am I too far away? If I get closer, will that work? We're gonna find out. I wanna know. Come on. Come on over here. There we go. There's the brain. Is it gonna work? Come on. Oh no, it doesn't work! I was really wanting that to work. That would've been stupid. Actually, to be perfectly honest, I'm glad that doesn't work, because that would be broken and stupid. I can... I can build walls inside of walls. That's interesting. Alright, so I think I've shown off all the major changes that this update has made. Uh, so now I just kind of want to fiddle around with these global scripts and see just what I can do. <laughs> the first thing I notice is Friendly Fire has a warning that says, This can make the game unplayable. We're gonna turn that on first. Uh, what else can we do? Let's do, uh, huge jetpacks. Actually, I want to turn on huge jetpacks and fragile units, so when they land, they will just shatter. I want to see what this does. All right, so here we go. So I've set myself to random, which of course gives me nobody with a jetpack. That's absolutely- Hi! You got here really fast. Um, I can't help but notice, despite the fact that the enemy is set to inferior AI difficulty, they seem to be kicking the butts off of my unfair difficulty guys. I'm kind of confused about that. But either way, we are now about to- actually first we're gonna see this. Friendly fire, go! Woo! <laughs> oh, actually, they're fragile now, aren't they? Fragile, go! Kill him! Kill Vess! Kill- whoa! Are oh, they ex oh, he lost a leg from one bu- <laughs> and he blew himself up. They got lost a leg from one bullet. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so this guy right here has a super strong jetpack. You! Stop that! Hey, go, okay, break him. Break him, break him, break him, break him, break him, break him. Okay, reload, reload. Break those guys before they shoot you, because you are also fragile. Everybody is fragile. Yes! When it actually gets through their armor. So their armor still seems to do something. So it's not completely just one-shot kills. Which would be- No, my leg! Oh, you shot off my leg. It would have been kind of unfair, but kind of awesome if everyone died in one shot. But it seems when anything actually does take damage, it just shatters. Which is kind of cool. I like it. Just go ahead and kill you. No. Uh, reload. Reload. Fire. Kill him. 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 You are not killed. There you go. You got them both. Okay, we're actually going to buy another guy uh, that'll actually have an arm or an, a leg. Okay, come on. Get over here. Go here. Just, uh, you know what? Just get that guy. Woohoo! Hi. How you doing? Know, trying to squish you. Squish him. Squish. Ow! <laughs> That's fine. I just want to see what the jetpack does. Okay, so this is the double strength jetpack. And away we go! Oh, it, oh. Oh. I can just stay airborne. Oh, look at that! Oh, can I circle the planet? Hi! How you doing? Um. Ow! Did not mean to do that. Okay, come out. Come out. There you go. And now, um, you killed by a guy already. How dare you? Cuss squish. Hey, hey, squish that guy. Squish him. Squish him. Squish him. There you go. Wow, these inferior troops are kicking my butt. You blew yourself up with your own gun. Oh, they are way more fragile than I expected, I have to say. Come on, there you go. Okay, let him out, let him out, let him out. There we go. And now, let's try out our jetpack before we get shot this time. You blew off his legs already, why? Woo! 
<laughs> oh, there's his helmet survived, but that was it. You know, I said this episode was going to be more educational. I think I might have lied. I'm just getting a lot of fun out of just breaking this game now. Okay, you know what? You just drop everything. I want to see what you can do if you're totally naked with the ship. Why? What were the odds? Okay, okay, they're, they're just having a breakdancing competition in the middle of my base. That's totally fine. You do that while I try to have some fun with my guy over here. Ah, ah! Okay, attempt number 3024. Here we go. Oh, look at that. He can actually stay in the air for quite some time. Whoa, you got some speed. You are going to die. Oh, you're going to get circle the planet. Yes. Oh, we almost made it. Oh, I'm going to do that now. That's my new objective. I have to circle the planet at least once. There you go. Ooh. Oh, the brain has become a beast. It's like my Void Wanderer's brain. Whoa. Hey, this guy's already lost a leg. That's fine. Here he goes. Here he goes. Did not work, but he's not dead. That's fine. Hello, rockets. Go. Go. I can't see where you are. You're off in space somewhere. So they can actually stay up long enough to be like in space. Hi. <laughs> Without just like disappearing. That's kind of interesting. Okay. Okay. We're gonna try to start here. Just a nice soft landing on top of my base. There we go. And now let's see. Let's see if we can get to their base. That's an objective. Holy crap. You almost killed me again. Could you stop succeeding at that? There's their base. No, no. Turn. Go that way. No. Ow. These jetpacks are, re they are really powerful now. I really like that. That's pretty cool. How you doing? Hi. Hi there. Just gonna cry myself on your face. Hope you don't mind. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Schmitty McSchmitty face. No. Ow. Ooh. How about this guy? This guy seems like he has a much stronger jetpack. This this is the guy. This is the guy that's gonna circle the planet. Here he goes. Here we go. Woo! I can't see you. I cannot right angle you if you keep doing that. Come on. Go. Go. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's halfway. That's halfway. Ow. <laughs> He's not even there. Where? Hello? You're. How? You went through the ground and now he's stuck. That is not how physics works. Wow. Nice going there, guys. That was A plus work. Oh, uh, what? Really? That's what you're doing? Okay, keep doing that. Just keep doing that. It's totally fine. That was brilliant. I love it. Oh, here it comes. No, don't get him. No. Oh, <laughs> nice. Okay, one of the features I saw in the update showed that it seemed like you could actually make bigger squads uh, now that the object limit has supposedly been taken away. Uh, so I want to try that out. Let's see if that'll actually work. All right, so I've got a squad of 15 guys here. Let's see if they can actually land and be moved around without shooting each other. All right, here we go. Oh, right. You guys are very flimsy. Oh, they crushed each other. That is so, that is stupid. All right, come on, guys. We're going to see if we can actually have a giant squad of dudes. Come on, this way. Everybody, we're going to go assault their base. Uh, guys, come on, please. I think half of them lost their legs. Um, whoops. Come on. You guys can do this. I believe in you. We have to take them one by one. Here we go. Come on. All right, guys, come on. Come on, there we go. There's something. Shoot at that. Shoot that guy. Kill him. Kill him dead. Yes, yes, no. Ow. Oh, come on. Oh, what happened to my squad? What did you do? All right, here's the plan. I want to bring down four sets of these squads, and uh, maybe then some of them will actually survive. Here we go. Stop landing on people. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. So many do. Oh, they're exploding in the air. I don't even know why. Come on, guys. Everybody, go to the. I can't move. I get. There we go. Come on. Come on. We're going this way. Everybody, come on. We're going this way. Guys, this way. Come on. We're, go we're going. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Hello? Guys! Uh, squads might still be uh, just a little bugged, uh, I have to say. Uh, <laughs> but we're gonna go anyway. Come on! To victory, two guys! You guys at least shoot together? Fire! Oh! <laughs> oh, right! Oh, friendly fire is on! Oh, they all just shot each other! Whoops! All right, there is one more thing that I absolutely have to try. Uh, so like I mentioned a couple times, according to the update log, uh, the object limit has been removed. Or it says not truly gone, but hardly reachable. I'm going to test that. I'm going to see just how hardly reachable is hardly reachable by crabs. Crabs are the answer to everything we're gonna find out. I don't even know how many crabs this is. I don't even care how many crabs this is. It's gonna be a lot. So we got a lot of crabs, and we're going to see if this game can handle all of the crabs. Also, I've actually turned off the uh, the fragile units and everything. It's, it's back to just basic Cortex command, and we are about to see if this stupidly large amount of crabs uh, can actually be sustained or not. So just drop it right about there, right? Right on top of their brain. Come on, crabs. Come, show me the new improved Cortex command that cannot be defeated by cra 
Nope, still reached it. <laughs> All right, so I'm really curious to see how this Gib only death option works. So I have changed the options. So now people supposedly cannot die unless you completely destroy their bodies. And I've turned on friendly fire. So this right here is going to be my very sad, unwilling test subject. So let's see exactly how this works. So I shoot you in the leg. It's doing no damage. Yeah, except it's making him bleed. Oh no! Oh, he's lost a leg. Oh, that's all. Oh, that is cool. Okay, so we're gonna blow off your other leg. I'm sorry. We're gonna have to do it. It's for science. Uh, trust me. This this will help science somehow. Oh no! Oh, look at that. He's he's bleeding, but he's taking no actual like health damage. He's taking damage by bullets, but none by health. Let's just put you there. See if I shoot in the leg. Or the arm, rather. Get bluff your arm. Get bluff your arm. 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 Get him in the arm. Maybe. I don't know. There you go. Did you get his other arm? I think we did. I think he's lost an arm. Oh, he's bleeding everywhere. I don't know how this works. I, I don't know if he can be a floating head. Oh, he probably can't. We're gonna find out. What happens if I shoot you more in the chest? Here we go. Not in the head. Not in the head at all. Just gonna shoot you in the chest. There we go. He's like losing down. Oh, no! Oh, he popped! Oh, that's terrible! Oh! Hi, you're not supposed to be here. This is a terrible place for you. Uh, go away, go away, thank you. Excuse me, I'm trying to do science here. If you could please, oh no, no! Crap. And now, for science. If you could just uh, throw that grenade at your foot and see what happens, that'd be great. Oh, hi, hold on, we're doing science over here. Kablam, oh yeah! Oh, he lost a leg, but he's fine. He's fine, there's nothing to worry about. I've got another one here. Just stand on that grenade, just stand on that grenade. There you go, and Kablam, look at him! Oh, look at that, he's got no legs, but he's totally fine. It's nothing to worry about, in fact, we're going to assault the enemies with our legless dude. Come on, go get him, get him, yeah, wee! Oh, um, hi, hi, excuse me. <laughs> uh, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, yeah! Oh no, okay, we need a running start at this. Come on, here we go, come on, full speed, full speed, whoosh! Yes, I broke something! I don't know what it was, but I broke something! He's coming back, he's coming back, come let- Oh, hi, trying to kill you. If you could just go splat, that'd be great. No! I was trying to kill you! And now, because I'm just sincerely curious how this works, I want to see if I can make a squad of legless dudes. Everybody line up! Everybody line up to get your legs blown off, I'm sorry. No! I'm trying to do science, you jerk! As admittedly weird as this is, this is genuinely how I mess around with games that have, like, interesting or new features to them. I just like to, to mess around with the mechanics and just completely exploit them in any way possible. Just, just to see what you can do with them, because I find this sort of stuff really fun. There we go, and now we have our legless hovering body squad, which is a- Hello? Uh oh crap, did you get one of those? Hello? Oh, hi, you're over there. That's okay. We're going this way. Everybody, we're gonna, come on. Hovering Bunny Squad. Come, oh, come on. Come on, guys. This way, we're going this way. You guys, they've broken the squad mechanics. The squads refuse to squad anymore. That's okay. I'm still gonna kill you guys with no arms and no weapons. Oh, no. Oh, that's not what I expected. It's okay. I got this. Totally got this. Get him. Get him. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, I head butted his leg off. That is glorious. Oh no! That's the- no! No! I'm trying to do a science experiment here! Could you stop being a cheap douchebag? Don't worry, I'll block his rockets with my face! It worked! Oh, that worked! Oh, I don't have any guys left, do I? I do! I've got one legless hovering body left, and he's going to be victorious! Don't you worry, here we go, here we go! Get him, get him, get him! Woohoo! I broke your- yes! I have made you one of us! Join our cause! Maybe, or try to shoot me, that's cool too. Come on, you can do this, you can do this, get him! Get him! Right in the face! Yeah! Oh, I killed that guy with a flying headbutt! Here I come, to save the day- oh! I got another one, but am I gonna get that one? No! Fly! Flee! Um, hi- oh no! Ow! Are you- I shot that guy's head off and he's still alive! No! Run! Flee! They're better than I am at this! Alright, there's actually one final thing that I want to show up before I end this video, and that is in Dummy Assault. So I've actually done a couple of videos using Dummy Assault, and as you might recall, uh, no matter what you did, it would always be dummies that you would fight. However, in this update, I don't know what they did to change it, but now, if I select this to all, the dummies are now, like, it'll be random guys, or I can make them all coalition or all imperatus, and that is really, really interesting to me. And, just for the sake of doing it, because I said I was gonna do it earlier, I'm gonna set the AI to unfair difficulty, because I have no idea what that- I sense to- actually, you know what? I'm gonna back this up, I'm gonna make this nuts difficulty, and then, they are now an AI unfair skill level, that's what we're gonna do, we're about to see what happens, and away we go! Alright, and here we are, so, as you can see, oh, there's a circle up there, that's, um, 
Is that a lizard man? What the crap are you? I don't know. That's a lizard dude. I don't know what that is. That's kind of cool. But as you can see, oh, look at there. It's a uh, anubis looking dude. And there's a stormtrooper. So as you can see, it has now replaced all of that. That's a big gun. <laughs> replaced all the dummies with random units, which is awesome. You can do so much with this now. I love that. That is really, really cool. So for our final assault, what do you say we go balls to the wall and uh, just completely ruin this? Because that's what I do best. Stormtroopers! Yes! Kill him! Oh, yes! Oh, that is glorious. I love it. Yeah, that's a terrible idea. We're doing that. Let's see if I can make a Stormtrooper squad. Come on, Stormtroopers. Come on, Stormtroopers. Come on, Stormtroopers. Yes! Stormtroopers, follow me! Follow me to victory! Oh, hello? Oh, no, my ATSDs. Oh, no! Well, I guess they're going to be down there now. Get him! Get him! Get that guy with that donut gun. Oh, yes! Come, my stormtroopers! We're going this way! Uh, guys, come on, we're going, come on! Storm stormtroopers! Stormtroopers, I need you to jump over the hole! N not not in the hole! Don't just jump down there and die! The yeah, yeah the these are stormtroopers. Of course, they're gonna jump in the hole and die. Fire! F holy crap, that is a lot of lasers! Oh, that is glorious! And now, for my force users! Oh, yes, we're gonna make a whole squad of force users. Everybody, out of the hole! That is a lot of lightsabers! Oh, it's gonna kill the frame rate. Oh, come on, guys! We're going this way! Come with me! Holy crap, look at that! Okay, th this is awesome, I love this. So, while you can still break everything with crab bombs, which I still love, it definitely has a much higher um, unit count. That is so... Uh, look at how many units we've got, that is awesome! Now, now, if you guys could just stop digging through the terrain, that'd be great. No! No, stop digging, you fools! You're just gonna drill to the center of the earth and die! You know what? The, the frame rate is not gonna recover. I'm gonna help you guys. I'm getting you out of my game so I can try to finish this level. Actually, I've got a better idea. A much better idea. And by much better, I mean a much more destructive idea. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, there go my Jedi! Bye! See you later! Here comes number two. Oh, that is a perfect shot. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, okay, ready? Ready? And scuttle! There you go! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Did they survive? Oh, they're surviving! Don't do that! I'm trying to kill you! Oh, my ATSDs! No! Why? Why did I do that? Oh, that is a much bigger hole now. <laughs> this is gonna be a perfect shot. Oh, here it comes. Oh, here- Oh, no! And nuke away! <laughs> oh! Sorry! Sorry, your lightsabers did not save you on that one. I apologize. And that is how you deal with a Jedi infestation. Oh, they are dead. But anyway, this has been Cortex Command Build 31. I have to to admit, uh, this video took a bit of a turn. I intended for this whole thing to be kind of educational and just kind of showing off all the new uh, the new features of this build of the game, but they were honestly kind of fun. It was really neat to just kind of mess around with them, and I kind of went overboard and just kind of exploited everything and just kind of had fun with it. So, so we'll just we'll just call this episode um edutainment or something. But anyway, those were most of the major updates that Build 31 added. There are a whole bunch of other little things like, you know, faction tweaking and balancing and sort of stuff like that. But those were all the, the large noticeable things that I could show off in a video. And while I do have to admit it's a bit of a pain in the butt just how long it took us to get this update, I think the things they added are actually really nice. They added some really cool features, especially the mod manager. The mod manager and the global scripts are just... Those I love that they added those in. That just gives you so much more control on the customization of your game, especially the global scripts. They just let you tweak just how the features of your specific game work. You know, like friendly fire or headshots only or stuff like that. I really like that. And that really opens it up to having some kind of interesting scenarios. I'm going to see if I can do something with that because that seems like it could be really fun. But I hope you guys found this at least mildly educational on top of entertaining when I just kind of uh, went overboard and just kind of started abusing all the new features because they are kind of fun. I love doing that sort of stuff. If you guys haven't tried this out for yourselves yet, uh, do it. There's a lot of cool stuff in this. And actually, if there's any features that I've missed uh, that are kind of cool, uh, feel free to let me know in the comments because I would love to know if there's more stuff to this that I don't know about. But anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed more Cortex Command. Take care, and I will see you next time.